Hello everyone. Yes, we're already too old to play with children's toys, but we're not going to show you Barbie dolls or plush bunnies today. In this video, you will see the weirdest, creepiest and most disgusting toys from around the world. Believe us, you're lucky that you didn't have any of these as a kid. You would probably grow up to be a completely different person. Let's get it on. Sully's Insides We doubt that children are wondering what's inside their favourite cartoon characters. However, the artist Jason Freeney decided that introducing kids to the anatomy of famous characters was a great idea. So he came up with these strange figures. But let us warn you, what you're about to see is quite creepy. Oh my God! We feel sorry for the little fans of Monsters, Inc. who'll see Sully with a bare skull, bones and internal organs. All the stuff that you shouldn't probably show to kids. Oh, I'm feeling good today, Mikey. Wouldn't you agree that if James looked like that, he'd be able to provide Monstropolis with enough energy without any help? Roadkill Cat a cat hit by a car with a wheel mark on its back and only one eye is a perfect gift for children with a fragile psyche, right? But seriously though, we wonder how the creators think a child should play with a toy animal that has been run over by a car. Maybe it comes together with a kit for a young vet. Or is it a parent's way to introduce their child to the cruelty of this world from an early age? In this case, there are more questions than answers. Pencil Sharpener Perhaps one of the best ways to impress your classmates is to buy an accessory from the Methco Toys Company. For example, this pencil sharpener. Just imagine, in the middle of the lesson, you take out a creepy doll head, stick a pencil in her eye, and then sawdust spills out of her mouth on the desk. If at this moment you let out an evil laugh, then most likely those around you will probably react something like this. <laughs> and the school psychologist will want to have a word with you. Gooey Louie. Gooey Louie. Uh, Almost every children's party ends the same way. The kids start to get bored, and they need some kind of entertainment that will bring them together. The creators of the Gooey Louie thought that there's nothing funnier than taking turns pulling long green goo from the head of a weird guy. The loser is in for a mental scar. If you pull out the wrong one, Louie's head will open and brains will splatter out onto the table. The manufacturer claims that this toy is great for developing fine motor skills, but many find it too, well, quirky. It was even ridiculed in the animated series Robot Chicken. Plumber's Pants this toy is somewhat reminiscent of Jenga, or more likely the weirdest version of it that you can possibly think of. According to the story, the unfortunate plumber came to fix the sink, and the children have to prank him. Not the best lesson in communicating with strangers, wouldn't you agree? Toddlers take turns attaching the tools to the belt on the plumber's pants, which will cause them to slide down a little. The one who takes off his pants loses, and as a result, the whole team will see his undies with hearts and will be splashed with water. Seriously, is it considered a funny prank these days to pull off someone's pants? Ugly Animals There's nothing funnier than having someone farting or belching loudly, right? <laughs> Okay, that was a test. Of course, we don't think so. Unlike the toy maker, Uglies. This company advertises its toys as totally gross pet pals, and you can't argue with that. A dog or monkey smeared with some mucus can make more than 30 disgusting sounds. For the toy to burp, you need to open its mouth. And if you squeeze it, well, you can guess what happens then. We wonder how soon the parents will accidentally throw this in the trash. Lollipop Tongue the overwhelming success of the Star Wars franchise has led to the release of millions of various related merchandise. Some products were more successful, some not so much. But we know for sure which is the worst product in the history of the franchise. As you might guess, this lollipop is not terrible because it's dedicated to a minor character. The toy works as follows. To gain access to the candy, you need to pull the little lever. The mouth of the creature will open, after which you can lick the tongue 
king of the Gungan, made, by the way, with attention to details like veins and warts. We guarantee that this is the most disgusting thing you'll see over the entire next month. Poor Pets Regular dolls are too boring, so every Moxie Girls doll comes with a pet that can go to the bathroom. First, you need to feed it, and then press on its head and it'll do its business. A pink rabbit leaves sparkles on the lawn, a koala leaves jewelry, and a unicorn, of course, leaves a rainbow. By the way, when these supplies run out, you'll have to repeat the cycle. That is, to collect all of these magical things, and oh, we feel sorry for the unfortunate animals, so let's forget about this. Weird Mug no, 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 there's no place for a scene like that in a children's cartoon. Tell us, we're not the only ones who find this toy too, um, weird? Oh my. In any case, giving a child such a mug is not the best idea, right? Even if we leave aside the confusing nature of the relationship between Winnie and the tiger, another problem remains. The manufacturer clearly chose the wrong place for the straw, from which the baby will have to drink juice or milk before bedtime. Hugo of a Thousand Faces It seems that in the 70s, they knew how to cause nightmares in kids. This creepy guy with cold, piercing eyes is called Hugo. The toy was released in 1975 under the slogan of The Man of a Thousand Faces. In addition to the head and half of the torso, the box contained a whole bunch of accessories. A beard, eyebrows, different noses and chins, scars, glasses and wigs. And by combining them, you could turn Hugo into completely different characters. But honestly, no matter which accessory you choose, Hugo will always look the same, like a maniac who disguised himself to attack another victim. Little Green Men Another masterpiece from the Japanese, who regularly come up with weird stuff. This time, the glowing figures. They're definitely not good toys for a child, but with their help, you can pull a cool prank on some of your friends. If you decide to hide them in a friend's apartment, be prepared for the fact that you will have to pick him up from another city. Seeing green men watching him from the darkness, he'll probably decide to move somewhere far away. Creepy Figurines Blamo Studio doesn't create ordinary toys, but real works of art. Each of these creepy creatures is handmade from natural materials. However, they're more suitable for decorating an apartment of some horror movie fan than for a kid's room. There are not so many kids who will have fun playing with Eskimo skeletons or this scary guy in a spacesuit. We would gladly buy a pink monster. It looks a lot like Crumb from Real Monsters and reminds of the times when you could watch cartoons on Nickelodeon all day long. Leg The name on the package speaks for itself. It's just a leg. You can sit in your room all day long, bending and unbending it at the knee joint. Isn't that what you dreamed of in childhood? There are a few more ideas, though. You can buy several dozen pieces, glue them to a doll and make a human centipede, or dip the leg in red paint and use it as a decoration while playing mock battles. Though this kind of entertainment is not for kids. Detachable Parts Zombie Doll Sure, children constantly break off some body parts of their dolls or tear off tails and ears from plush animals, but mostly this happens by accident. But this little zombie was created so that a child could intentionally dismember him. After all, kids don't yet know that zombies are bad. Why should they be so cruel to this cutie? Oh yes, the toy is not intended for children under three years old, but older kids can easily tear off the poor man's head, hands and feet and pull the brain out of his head. Terrible Hybrid Surely there are many children in the world who love Sesame Street, watch Spongebob in the morning, and want to be like Bart Simpson. There's an idea of how to make them happy. If the creators of this toy didn't think this way, then we have no other explanation for how they came up with this idea. Just imagine the reaction of a child who's waiting for figurines of his favourite characters as a gift, but receives this three-in-one monster. Transparent Ronald McDonald Ronald McDonald is one of the most popular mascots around the world. Many children ask their parents to go to the fast food restaurant just for the opportunity to see their favorite character and for a happy meal, of course. Did Secret Base and Toy Tokyo think about this when they released this toy for sale? Not only is the clown put on weight, kids can see his skeleton. Kids will probably cry and ask, Ronald, what happened to you? When they see this toy. 
plush vampires. There's nothing to be ashamed of. In childhood, we all slept with soft toys. Now imagine that instead of that cute bear cub, you would hug this monster. There is a chance that you'd wake up feeling bloodlust or having wet pants. A vampire sheep, of course, looks more cute. But still, with this kind of toy, a child would probably have some nightmares. By the way, the manufacturer says that the toy should be protected from direct sun rays. Maybe this is not really a joke. The bear's teeth look real. And in general, these toys are pretty creepy. Don't you agree? Creepy Teddy Bear Imagine a parent screaming, surprise, and suddenly pulling out this toy from behind their back to give it to a child. The kid would probably react even more emotionally than the guy who saw this screamer. <laughs> well, how else do you react to a skeletal teddy bear who's clearly the victim of a maniac? A bloody stump of a bone instead of a paw? A bared skull and ribcage, clearly visible intestines? A toy like this would hardly make a kid happy. Though this toy would work great as an accessory to a Halloween costume, wouldn't it? Macabre plush toys. There is a simple yet effective way for a child to become a ruthless maniac when he grows up. You stupid with me. Or at least to make him hate all living things. For each holiday, you need to give him one of these plush toys. For Christmas, a rabbit killed by a huge carrot. For his birthday, an entire collection of predators eating people. Crocodile, shark and tiger. By the way, the tiger looks as if he didn't want to be a part of this, but they really made him. There are several other great toys to ruin a kid's mental health with, such as a girl pierced with giant scissors or a head on a stool. Thankfully, these toys are not for sale. Otherwise, the future of our society would probably be in question. Strange Animals Toy makers are so random. Sometimes they want to recreate the anatomy of a character down to the bones, brains and all that, down to the smallest details. And sometimes they forget the basic stuff from the biology classes. Okay, these guys decided to make plush marsupials. Everything's fine with a kangaroo until we pull out the baby. It looks more like a worm that came out of an apple. The bear is even more confusing because that's not a marsupial. But even if we assume that it is a koala, then what's wrong with its baby. Why does it look like a light bulb? Well, the creator should probably go and visit the zoo sometime. Handitor. Okay, the only reason you shouldn't give this toy to your child is because it contains small parts that can be dangerous to them. Also, the figurines that turn your hand into a centaur are a little weird. As for the rest, the Handitor toy is quite funny. It puts finger wrestling to a whole new level. It's a pity that instead of this guy, the creators didn't make a man at all from Gravity Falls. Blaster This blaster boasts a pretty cool futuristic design that makes it look like a space weapon. But why does it have a speaker instead of a barrel? It's simple. This gun hits its victims with indecent sounds. It's enough to hold down the trigger for at least 15 seconds so that the neighbors would give you weird looks next time they saw you. Sometimes it's hard to believe that such toys are created by adults. Do we need to explain why you can't give this blaster to a child? He'd run around the house until the batteries ran out, by which time the whole family would have gone completely crazy. <laughs> Unicorn at first glance, this is a wonderful soft toy. An adorable unicorn with a silly face and a package of tacos in its paws. A child of any age would like this toy. But all the charm disappears after you hug the plush friend tight. <laughs> As you already guessed, you'll hear a characteristic, unpleasant sound. According to legend, Sparkle the Unicorn ate a few too many tacos and just couldn't help it. Basically, you can buy this toy and put something heavy on it. Perhaps it'll run out of magic and become just a cute, soft unicorn. Potty Piano You won't surprise anyone with toys for the bathroom. Admit it, do you sometimes take a bath with little yellow rubber ducks? You can even buy a radio-controlled boat, but a piano for a toilet? Yeah, there is such a thing. Moreover, this is a working musical instrument. You press a key with your toe and it plays the desired note. It's hard to say how convenient and funny this experience is. But then again, there are people who put mini golf in their bathroom. Sports? Art? What next? A toilet laboratory for scientific experiments? 
mutated bear. And here's another teddy bear that doesn't belong in the crib. The creator shared a fictional origin story of the toy. Mortimer was an ordinary bear, but once it was exposed to toxic waste, it mutated. Now it has five eyes and fangs like a saber-toothed cat. We admit that it still looks pretty funny, but how would you explain all this to a child? In addition, the manufacturer claims that if you hug Mortimer, you'll feel the smell of sulfur. Hopefully that is a joke. We've had enough toys that smell weird today. The Bones Family some toys mislead children. The box shows an incredible robot, and inside you find a cheap-looking plastic toy. This doesn't apply to 1970s skinny bones, though. The packaging makes it clear that you should expect to find something terrible inside. The child is supposed to assemble his friends from bones. The parts are connected to each other, and that's how you get a creature looking like a Slender Man. We don't know whether the manufacturer saved on materials or made such monsters on purpose, but they turned out really creepy. Possessed Dolls do you want to know what kind of toys your distant ancestors had? Well, they were incredibly brave as children, it seems. No, these unnaturally bent dolls are not intended as a study aid for the exorcist. At the end of the 19th century, every child dreamed of getting this toy. Back then, it was incredibly advanced. These dolls made of porcelain and balsa wood could swim. You could turn the winding mechanism, and the ladies began to frantically move their arms and legs. It looks really creepy today, though. Any brave man would scream in horror if he threw such a swimmer into his bed at night. Acne Simulator some people enjoy popping pimples. As Greg used to say, it's a rock fact. What's surprising is that a company from the United States figured out how to make money from it and created a simulator of acne. Pop It Pal is a silicon pad in the form of a patch of skin with 16 pimples. When you pop them, the pus comes out. Artificial, of course. It's made from natural oils and beeswax. And this guy even dared to try it. We're sorry, but we had to show it to you. Avenging Unicorn it seems that destroying children's dreams is the favorite pastime of the creators of this toy. If a kid adores unicorns and believes that they are the kindest magical creatures that help people, he should never get this box. Inside, of course, is a cute mythical horse, and even four replaceable horns for it, including a glowing one and a mother of pearl one. But they serve only one purpose, impaling unfortunate people. Yes, there is a figurine of a disgruntled boss among them, but the kids are too young to know how evil bosses can be. Hey buddy, are you tired of watching videos about cute animals and heartwarming stories? You need something more serious in your life. Tough cars, cool robots, and the most unusual gadgets in the world. Get the high-tech adrenaline rush you need on Texan. Subscribe now, we are waiting for you.